I've traveled far and wide searching for the answer. No, the reason. Deep into the wild, into the depths of truth. The reason of why. And I thought making this deck was a good idea. I mean, seriously, who, who thought it was a good idea to make another annoying blue deck? Let me explain why Android 21 was a mistake in three different parts. The first part, energy. In this deck, energy kind of translates to what is yours is mine and what is mine is mine. Basically our energy. Android 21's permanent states, when paying for energy costs for your Android 21 cars, you can use your Android 21 Z battle cards and your opponent's battle and unison cards as energy. What this basically means is that you have access to cards like Android 21 Full Power Counter, which basically ignores, ignores Barrier and becomes a Floodgate. Android 21 Sleaseless Despair, that is another board wipe ignoring Barrier and makes your opponent discards cards when using counter skills and also has a built-in SS3 Goku effect on steroids. You guys remember when that got banned? Or even playing one of the Z battle cards that actually ramps you one on play. All of these cards are basically free or reduced when you go against blue or green decks, which you know, you're gonna have to note that specified cost for all of those cards. Now, the second reason is Android support. What I mean by this is that we've seen Gamma already top a lot of different events, and we can kind of take some of those generic blue and green cards that showed that it had some life in Android support with some of the searchers and tutors like the Android 18 one drop that looks at the top five, the Android 17 floodgate, the 18, the, the Android 18 five cost that is another searcher. And of course, one of the Android 21 burn cards, which now has a reduced cost, which is interesting and not to mention that the front side leader can search that at any time this also includes the absolutely broken i don't care what anybody says android 21 secret rare the alt art is teetering on insane prices for a reason the front side leader can actually search this pretty much at any time it's another board wipe and you have to or you can recover life up to two which is i don't know why they 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 thought that was a good idea did i mention that you can play that for free Speaking of, the last reason is the color blue. We already know that Crimson got banned and I think people are kind of scrambling to find out what the next best best deck is and as well as what is the next blue deck to play. Whatever has a fighting chance. And honestly, I think my theory at least is that Android 21 uh, is basically the regulator. It was created to counter blue decks within the format and future formats. Where this becomes an issue is that she has access to all of the good blue cards anyway. So like Sensu Bean, obviously, the, uh, well, Dimension Magic, Ultra Distance Kamehameha, um, and you can use basically any of your Android 21 cards on their turn. So any of the counter plays, counter attacks, things like that, and get those effects since you can't do it on your turn. And you have access to one of the best blue cards you can play in the deck, which is Pan Glimpse of Talent. Look at that stupid little face, and then look at her effect. The fact that you can give this to your opponent and then reduce your own specified blue cost is kind of wild. The only upside of this is that you can't play battle cards with skills on your turn, which means you can't use the piccolo to get the pain out. Now, honestly, I don't want to ramble anymore. Uh, I don't want to rant for the entire video. I mean, there's other videos on this as well, but I kind of want to kind of get the point across and hopefully I did. So let me know in the comments below, because I think what's going to happen is that um, this deck is going to be up in the format. People are gonna be using it all over the place, and then people are gonna figure it out, and then Red Sin is gonna take over. Like, I think, I don't think there's really much else to talk about. But I do wanna talk about my current list. Uh, so let's talk about that, and let me know what you think in the comments below as well. All right, so basically with this list, uh, it was the idea of trying to take advantage of the eight drop as much as possible, and as well as just make it consistent enough to do the shenanigans that I wanna do. And basically what that comes down to is playing pretty much the core Android 21 stuff, right? So if you've been seeing other lists, then I would highly recommend to check out Eggman's channel because I think he just did the uh, win a box tournament and I think two of them were in the top eight. You can always kind of compare a list there. But my list um, has been kind of edited for the last month or so. It was pretty much the second deck I've been playing uh, since the set got released and uh, revealed. I just haven't had the time to make sure I thoroughly test it and uh you know 
play it. <laughs> so if anything, as far as the, the 21 core out of the set 20, you get a bunch of support and you have older support as well. So we have the 21 where again, it is the, uh, well, it didn't really talk about this one this is the critical blocker. You counterplay, play this card. And when you play it uh, on your turn, you choose one of your battle, POTUS battle cards, bottom deck it, and then switch to active. So you can swing it with 20K and then um, uh, go from there, basically. You just have a 20K blocker uh, with critical on the swing. And then I don't know what this, this exclamation part, part <laughs> point is there for, but on the opponent's turn, you just draw a card, which is probably one of the weakest versions of 21, but it is nice to have a 0-5, uh, another target for 21, and it is reduced by three specified costs. As long as you have either pan or if you're going against blue, it becomes free or really cheap. Uh, for three, it doesn't feel as good. And just as a reminder, you know, the uh, the permanent does not reduce specified costs unless they're, uh, you're using cards or unison cards or battle cards uh, that are blue or green, right? So these need one blue energy and another needs a green energy. So uh, they they have to be those colors when you're switching them to active or to rest, to play them basically. Um, and the other thing is that, uh, is to remember the leader effects. So uh, on the front side, you can't activate extras and during your turn, you can't play battle cards by skills. They eroded it, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, the extra cards are pretty much all the good blue cards. So D Magic, Ultra Instinct, Kamehameha, One Dirty Burst, and Sensu Bean, I believe is the only ones that we play. And these are all defensive cards. You pretty much can't really or shouldn't really use them on offense, but on the fronts or the back side, I should say, you can use Ultra Instinct Kamehameha if you really wanted to. And same thing for Dirty Burst. So obviously if they're coming out with something on your turn, you can use Dirty Burst. But uh, the other part is that if you have a, an Android 21 battle card in play, uh, you switch one of your blue energy to active. So it can, can be a multi if you really wanted to. It really goes like this, where you use the activate main effect twice with your um, uh, take life, and then you go down to six, they swing for five, and then you have a choice of playing this for two on, on two energy um, and taking a life uh, from here. So you play it, you add up one card of your life, and the auto is that if you pay one blue during their main phase, you get to play a Android 21 card from underneath that is a four cost or less. Um, this has unique and critical, and it also has Z stack. So Z stack basically says as an auto, you place one of the cards from your Z deck underneath the cards um, that you meet that specified cost or specified um, requirement. And this is going to be the one where it is a 20k uh, unique blocker. Um, you get to use this if you uh, the permanent that is if you play it. So you're playing it from. Uh, underneath the 21, as I understand, and Z stack states it has to come from the Z deck. So in order to get the permanent where you can choose opponent's battle cards, which it, like if you do clones or they play something, you can still choose those. Um, you can Z back Z stack two battle cards uh, from there. And what, why that's important is that you can Z stack something like Beerus that has barrier or a triple strike barrier blocker, deflect from Vegito, obviously not deflect, and then use the activate main that you choose a keyword skill underneath the card, you place it underneath the Z stack using Z stack, and then you gain that skill, that keyword skill. Uh, and uh, it all comes pretty interestingly, where uh, if you do a turn two, you pass it, you untap one energy, um, you're at four, you play this, uh, you remove something, ramp into three, they swing, you can awaken from there, and then uh, use any of these energy cards basically from there uh, if you really wanted to which if you're doing on turn two you're gonna be tapped out uh, so probably won't be doing that but at least you can awaken and draw two uh, or draw one untap one and you will have uh, energy from there but that's pretty much how the core goes um the again for for drop on wavering will is the weakest one because of the the uh, effects this is pretty strong and if you have uh, pans on their end and they haven't cobbled them out or if you're just going against something that is blue or green again um, you get to use this uh, for cheaper for three it's not, still not bad because what it becomes is that they have to swing with their uh, battle cards or unisons or swing with their don't swing with their leader if they swing with their leader you can counterattack with this 
uh, and then tap down their unisons and as well as battle cards, which it doesn't ignore barrier because you're just using energy. So just remember that you can use you can do that. Um, it also has uh, negating the energy exhaust as, as long as you have a blue energy or a blue Android card, which you can do that in other uh, blue Android decks like Android 16 and as well as Gamma, which probably not going to be playing 16 anymore, but um, definitely Gamma. And you ignore barrier, place an hours drop, and then uh, the floodgate becomes where they have to place one card from their hand and the energy into the drop if they attack with something non-leader, um, which is pretty broken, right? Either way, um, and then the last, well, the last two cards that I didn't mention, well, I guess I should go back here. So Android 21, again, you draw two. I used to play the apes and I used to play something else that drew. This ended up just being, just made more sense because it just is a two cost that you get a body and a double strike for and it has deflect. So, uh, and it, you get a clone token. The clone tokens are interesting because it plays into stuff like the brilliant idea where you can uh, pay it. Play, pay one basically two of their battle cards are unisons and then one um and you get two more clone tokens if you really want them well you have no choice and then you get to choose one of their clone tokens uh you get to pop a battle card or give one of your battle cards 10k in critical the reason why i take this in is because there's so many times where i'm like i want to swing but uh this has been at a point where i awaken super early and i just want to swing with critical and that comes into uh this lady where you pay for five basically or cheaper um where it has dual attack and double strike and critical plus the 10,035. uh and I'll, I'll come back to this one but really it just comes down to giving one of your 21s uh critical especially this this chick where it's a 30k double strike critical so why not um and yeah, that's uh, that's it's pretty good. <laughs> that's that's all I can really say about it. If you can get it off, uh, cool. If not, you can combo it out. You can use it as green energy. It's not that big of a deal. Um, the one drop is cool because you look at the top five. As I mentioned before, uh, you get to just look up any of your uh, blue Android cards. A lot of them are five or less. There's not very many outside of the eight drop. Uh, and this card, which is um, an eight drop if it is not in your hand or battle area so just keep that in mind um but it's really cool because you can combo this from your hand and then you get to play a clone token which pretty much guarantees you um one of the unspecified costs for 20 your 21 cards uh which is really cool and then uh i'm just jumping all over the place i'm so sorry android 21 <laughs> the secret rare again is broken because you look it up the top five for your front side you get to choose or you get to grab that at any time if you see it, it has deflect dual attack blocker <sighs> it's, it's stupid and then you get to um uh have protection as if basically if you you basically tap down their unisons and, and uh battle cards for this and then you just need two uh specified uh, blue and green so if you're going against blue or green or if you have a pan and glyps which usually the play is to play the pan and glyps <laughs> pan glimpse talent they have two it becomes a one drop you pay pay one tap those down and then you use the effect to board wipe ignoring barrier which includes the pan um and then uh recover uh your life basically and then you can have those battle cards underneath to use it as protection if they try to remove it which they're going to try to remove it it's a dual attacker 40k it, and if you use brilliant idea with it, it, it is just stupid. Um, and that's pretty much all the 21 cards, I think. I mean, this only this is the only one I didn't really explain too much. It has the broken uh, five five costs. It has the annoying auto effect where they had to discard two. Um, what it really comes down to is that like you have to be careful with swinging with this card. I think when you play it. If you know that they don't have an answer for it, so like if they, if you're going against a mirror or whatever, or if you're going against something that has final flash or something like that, right? Um, you don't want to swing with this. Uh, you probably want to play it and then pass, and then that way you can just use every other card as defense and as well as to uh, play cards on their their turn. So like these guys uh, right here, or uh, the one cost, or uh, steadfast ally, which is why I put this in. So steadfast ally gets out. Uh, it's a 25k. Uh, double striker you get to play a 21 or 5 ls from your hand which basically means any of these guys right uh you can just grab one from your deck and then uh play one of those guys which again becomes here <laughs> uh and, and just becomes that that floodgate and removal which is why i really like steadfast i, I really like steadfast i don't really care what anybody says uh it, it did it did get a little clunky at, at point at some points but 
it is what it is. You you get rewarded for playing something a little bit different. Um, Prior Claim is here because you get to play on their turn and as well as the Z energy effect is still really good. Uh, this is searchable by literally everything. Uh, you have a split because um, sometimes you're just not in a position to use your extra cards to untap on their turn. So you may as well just grab something like like the uh, full power counter if you have another one in in, in uh, energy. Or if you use one of the Android 18s to place an energy, you can grab one of those and then use the top five to get another card instead. And this is why this is at 54 cards, because basically like everything searches everything and it just becomes uh, a tutor based deck uh finding everything that you need outside of the the eight costs um and seven costs but that's pretty much it the only things i can really talk about other than that are the cyber cards which there are a lot of energy support at this point including 21 um from these cards i don't know why i put the magic there um 17 unstoppable technique is awesome i played this first but the magic just ended up being more useful in the long run um but i really do like this you just uh take a life and then you can untap one and then get a clone. So I think those are interchangeable, to be honest. Um, Speedy Substitution is really cool because you get to choose, you can choose any of your Android cards and get them. Um, that's pretty much it. And you can manipulate your energy as well. Uh, so that way you can just uh, uh, replace basically something like the eight drop and get it back with Zeno or um, vice versa. And then, yeah, just stuff like that. It's just, it just, it's just another Tutor 05. I just didn't find the room for it. Uh, Jiren is also really good, so you can fit into your Z deck, which depends on what you really want from the four costs from here. Uh, if you're playing four or paying two, paying zero, right? Uh, depending on what you really want to do. Uh, but zero, uh, Jiren's really good, probably as a sideboard card, because don't forget you can sideboard Z deck cards too, um, and uh, remove markers basically. I used to play Black Smoke in the main, and I was like, eh, whatever, don't really need it, just kill them. Um, and then there's the Angel 21 Be Bewitching Battler. Um, just the effect was too weak to, to play. That's all it was. Uh, Scholarly Gamut is cool. It's just a barrier blocker, but you have those. And then um, Beautiful Scientist, you don't really need this because you're playing the four costs. And at the end of the day, you don't really need to uh, ramp. And if you're going to be ramping, might as well just do this once or twice instead of this and put a restriction on yourself. Talked a lot, but that's usually what happens when I talk about a deck I like. So <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, the upcoming, uh, what should we call it? Uh, the 8th, the April 8th, I think the top cut um, talk up thing. I might be in that playing or streaming. I, I have no idea. But if I am, I'll put it in the comments below. Um, and this will be definitely in the spectrum of things to play or people playing it. So just keep that in mind and I'll see you in the next one.